So your boyfriend just woke me up and he told me that we're gonna go out to lunch. I'm at his house and I don't have my makeup so I'm gonna have to use his makeup. So I tried doing like the background backdrop thing and I can't do it. I possibly cannot do it. It is way too much work. Props to everyone who does that because it is oh, way too laborious. Yeah, anyway, let's get to it. Before we start, I just wanna apologize for my last video. I was rushing, okay? I was in his bathroom. He was rushing me. I felt pressured. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't do the best job. I know I can do better. So today, I'm gonna do better, okay? Last time I was rushing and my makeup turned out like trash. So first thing I always do is I always prime my face. I always make it nice and moisturized. I got this moisturizer from Clean and Clear. This shit is amazing. Oh, that's my new bottle. Last video, I said that I wish that I had my own. I went out and got my own. I had a pimple right here, it went away. I have a pimple right here, right? Nothing you haven't seen before. Then I'm gonna take his old Proactive, it's a primer. So I'm just gonna put that underneath my eyes and on my nose and my forehead. In my last video, he didn't have this Pro Stippling Concealer. It like helps put on the foundation. I swear to God, if you ever get this brush, it's the 581. It's called a Pro Stippling Concealer. And I swear to God, you will never use your fingers again to put on your foundation or concealer or anything. So what I found that worked better for my skin is I took his lighter concealer. It's like a BB cream. It's really, really light. It's not snow white, but I like shake it really good because it's like oily. And then I put it on here. Then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna. Just move it around a little bit a couple times. I'm gonna put on any of my dark spots. As you can see, I have a lot. Take your time, it comes out better, okay? Don't rush. Don't do what I did, don't rush. Obviously, if you rush, it's gonna come out like crap. I would know. And you know what? It's a learning process. People get it wrong, and then people get it right, okay? Laugh at it, whatever. So I went to the bathroom, and I like dampened this fake beauty blender, and now I'm just gonna like push in wherever I just put that first layer of concealer. <coughs> And does anyone else get makeup sneezes? Like, do you sneeze when you put your makeup on? So my next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my next BB cream. This one's like a medium color and it's gonna go underneath my eyes. The first layer that goes underneath my eyes, I like to put two colors underneath my eyes. I'm not gonna go too close to my eye because I crease. And you might be saying, fuck, that's a lot. And you're right, it is. I don't know why I have redness all underneath my nose. So I'm just gonna put it over there too. I feel like that's way too much. And I feel like that's crooked. Now the forehead doesn't need to be fancy. Now take the fake beauty blender and just blend your face again. Now don't blend up too close to your eye. I, you're gonna use your finger to go and dab it in. Just like lightly push it up. Carly by Bell, if I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, she did this technique and I tried it and I never ever did anything different. If you're like me and you cry when you um, tight line underneath your eyes, this, after, after this, I think that I'm gonna tight line under my eye because um, if you do it like after and you already put the powder on and then you tear, it like fucks it all up. So I'm like, I think I should do it sooner now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go underneath my eye. I feel like find someone that has really good eyelashes and then mimic how their natural eyelashes look and then do your eyeliner like that. So I'm gonna go like in the middle and then I'm gonna go in the ends. I'm gonna do it off camera because you can't really see, but you don't need to see me do that. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take his NARS concealer, you already know. Oh, this is in light to vanilla. I'm gonna focus whenever after I do my makeup, I notice that like I have like a really dark line under there. So I'm gonna put a little bit more right here. I think it's good um, to take selfies after you do your makeup so you can look at it and be like, okay, next time I'm gonna put a little more of this, there, that, do that, so yeah. <laughs> It's good to take selfies. I have like weird dark spots on my forehead, so I'm gonna like dab it. I already fucked up. I already fucked up, look at that. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. Finding your right skin color with your foundation is the number one thing that you need to focus on. I need time to replace what I get. You know what, this thing too long, so I'm just gonna use this fake beauty blender. Now you might be saying, wow, you look fucking white. Well, this is what I call the storm before the shine. Why not make it worse by putting makeup on it? Now it's for the foundation. You already know this is the Makeup Forever stick. I love it. So swoop, swoop, swoop. Then at first, I'm just gonna use a stippling brush to move it around and then I'm gonna use my beauty blender. I feel so psycho telling you guys, keep blending, keep blending it in. Do a good job with it. Don't fuck up like I do. But it's true. It's true. Now we're going to bake my favorite part. The hardest part. Do about 90 shakes and you should get enough powder. More. 
more. <laughs> you should already know the drill where to put it. This is what you call snow angel. Now it's time for the powders. I'm gonna take his contour kit. Very lightly tap it and then remember to do that. Remember to tap it twice. Put it on very lightly. See? That looks pretty much already dark already. And then for the rest, I usually just throw it up in my forehead. Then already blend that. Tap, tap, tap. We don't want a repeat of last time. See? We're learning. Slowly learning. Back to school. Sorry, lighting is not on my side today, but we're just making best with what we have. Now we're going to snatch the nose. So I'm going to take this small little one and I'm going to lightly tap. Once again, I'm sorry if you guys see boogers, it's because I have a runny nose, okay? I'm embarrassed as it is, you don't need to remind me. So very lightly touch it. Start to bring it down. Remember to tap, very lightly touch it, and then blend down very lightly. Learning every day while we contour our nose with a runny nose. I'm gonna like contour this underneath the tip of my nose, the bottom part. What I'm gonna do is, after I make those two parallel lines, I'm gonna connect them. I've never done this before, I feel so professional. Thank you, Nikki Tutorials. She taught me this. Tap, tap, tap the fuck out of it. And then just keep blending. The more you blend, the better it looks, okay? Is that fake enough? I don't know if that made any difference at all, but now we're going to bronze the face. And you must be wondering, is he gonna do eyes today? No, I'm not gonna do eyes. The reason why I don't do eyes is, I don't know, it's just not me. I feel like what I'm doing already, a foundation routine, is already too much. So I'm just gonna put the bronzer pretty much everywhere because I love a bronze look, and then I'm gonna blend it in as good as I can. Now, time for the brows. Last time, I fucked up on my brows. This time, I swear to God, I'm gonna get it right, okay? I promise, I will. I know how to do a good brow, okay? Just that when, I, um, when I'm on camera, I fuck up. Oh, excuses, excuses. No, bitch. Seriously. You try to record yourself and do your brow at the same time. Let's see how that shit comes out. Shit gonna come out crappy as fuck. I know. Brush my brows into a desired position. This one is bigger than this one. And it's very frustrating. It saddens me. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'll come back for a little bit and show you how far I've fucked up on it. It's from a runny nose, okay? I don't have fucking herpes. Ugh. So this is just a NYX, very cheap, very dollar lipstick. And I think I'm done. <gasps> so I'm just gonna like stay like from here so that you guys can like get a better look. Take that fan on there. So this was um, the end of that tutorial. We're gonna go out to lunch. I don't know where, maybe McDonald's. So until then, see you guys later. Have an amazing day. Be successful. Do real shit. And remember, just because you have something society does not accept, it does not make you any less important. You are amazing, and I love you. See you guys later. Ah, <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs>